Hello there. My name is Caron Bruce, and I'm making this video to publicly address an issue that has been affecting my, my life for the past two years and expose the true facts between the dispute of myself and an individual known as the Guyanese critic. This video is not meant to be entertaining. It's meant to set the record straight, and I ask that you kindly share it within your network. As you know by now, I'm the person being accused of being the cartoon mudwater. I've asked a few random strangers who came up to me in public as fans of mudwater and asked them, why do you believe I'm the cartoon? They all gave me the same answer. It's because Guyanese critic said so. Today, I intend to tell my story, and I hope you will understand how deeply the words uttered by Mr. Guyanese critic have affected my life. To start from the beginning, myself and a few other persons were arrested in January of 2022 in connection with a probe into Guyana Uncut on Mudwater. I was arrested on January 28th. The police came, they searched my home, they collected all my devices capable of connecting to the internet and a few other electronic devices. I later learned that the information, which was false, that led them to my arrest came from the Guyanese critic. On the same day I was arrested, I was released from police custody without charges, pending further investigations into the matter. The day after, this is what the Guyanese critic had to say. Yeah, I'm telling you, let me tell you about mud water, the truth about mud water. And <laughs> the principles in life and what principles mean. No, everybody already free mud water. Who is mud water? Is the man who was arrested, Kieran Bruce, mud water? And how we know so? You know the Guyanese critic. Is one of the. Smartest road, smart persons in Guyana. Y'all know that, right? Y'all know that you don't get here if you're smart, right? And most of the times, I know things are going on. If it don't concern me, or if it, if talking about it can't help with some side of development, I don't do nothing. I ain't got time for talk about it. Straight off the bat, y'all know that. Y'all see something right about something, I don't even say nothing. So everybody is saying, free more water. But let me tell you something. Where ethics coming. And Mudwater doesn't have it. Kieran Bruce doesn't have it. I got it. Because let me tell you. Kieran Bruce. Myself. And another individual. Stood on Rob Street. Between Common Street. And. Orange Walk. On Rob Street. And we had this discussion on the road and the thing about this animated thing. And I told him, Kieran Bruce, what I wanted to do. So I told Kieran Bruce I wanted to do the guy in his critic. Kieran Bruce told me he wanted to do mud water. And we agreed he will do his thing on YouTube. I will do my thing on Facebook. And I will share his stuff and he will share my stuff. Now, this is even before you all would have ever seen a mud water. You understand? No. Here was the funny thing. 
when Kieran Bruce told me what he wanted, how he wanted to do it, I didn't want any association with it because Kieran Bruce wanted to stay behind the scenes. I want people to know is I do you like if I was the OB man himself. Me want to do nothing in secret. So, for those of you who did not know and now know, Kieran Bruce is mud water. They didn't. They didn't get the wrong person. Now, why did I not tell anybody before? Well, contrary to popular belief, I am a person that is guided by certain principles. And when me and Kira and Bruce had the arrangement, I knew and he told me he wanted to be a secret. Yo, I'm going to tell you how serious this is. Y'all know Azadine Muhammad is me, friend, right? Y'all know Mud what is been making laugh and talking and acting with Azadine Muhammad. Azadine Muhammad called me a day and asked me, do you know who is the person behind this? I don't know, brother. That's me, body. We go, we eat, we sport, we do life risky things. And if you ask Azadine Muhammad, he'll tell you, he didn't know. He knew yesterday who is Mud Water. That's it. Because when Kieran Bruce decided this is what he wanted to do, he told me he wanted to be secret. He didn't tell me to keep a secret. He told me I was aware that he didn't want anybody to know he was. You understand? Me body, friend, I didn't tell. He know yesterday after the man get locked up. Leroy Smith came and asked you know. I said, I don't know. You hear what I'm telling you? That is principle. Let's pause for a moment right here. At the time Critic is making this video, I was already released from police custody without any charges. The police found nothing linking me to Mudwater or Guyana Uncut. And that little story you just heard is a complete lie. Mr. Critic saw me taking some drone footage on Camp Street an evening in, I think it was 2021. I used a DJI inspired two drone. It's a very big drone. And it was always common for people to come up to me and look at the drone because it was a spectacle, especially when it became airborne. It's a very big drone. Mr. Critic came up to me that evening as a spectator. My big son was there and he remembers this, this encounter. I sent those footage to Guyana Uncut and they published it. From that moment on, Critic believed with all his heart that I was the person behind Guyana Uncut and I was mud water and started to spread the rumor. Shortly after that, shortly after that encounter with Critic on Camp Street and the subsequent posting of the videos, of the video clips on, on Guyana Uncut, Otis Pearson, known as Otisha, started posting my photos on the internet and on WhatsApp statuses and so on, accusing me of being Mudwater. And the rumors continued to promulgate within that community ever since then. I never mind anyone saying that I was Mudwater because I knew it wasn't true and that no one could ever prove no one could ever prove it as a fact. Let's look at the second part of the clip, which is where the real concern for me is. And the real reason I took Guyanese critic to court for defamation of my character. Have a look. No, why attack you? No, well, it is out there. You don't get caught. You understand? He's out there. It's a matter of fact. No, 
Here with the problem there. Kieran Bruce used to do work for Miss World Guyana. And he takes out photographs of girls. Shoot. No, photo shoots. He's a photographer. He takes out the photographs of the, the models. You know what he do? He do a thing. He do a video thing with Morwato. Talking to the little boy about being them girls. Yeah, I remember the story. And putting up the same pictures we take out from a professional base where he took those photographs of those girls. Halloween E. We could use the term. I think we should use the term. Because it's out there, it's public knowledge and and and, and in the law books and the buggery is a charge. Yes, we use any term. Buggery. Say the bugger this girl and bugger the girl putting up the girl's photographs. So when you see Bladdy, free this body and this, there was a lot of them. When I watch it up, I said this is wrong, 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 wrong. Because I knew I was keeping his secret while he was not willing to keep secrets that were imparted to him. Ask Kiran Bruce about that story. With the little uncle, is with it, with it, he got a little boy that's there with he. And just talking. Anybody remember that episode of Mudwater? Diana and Cut? When they're putting up the girl's picture and so he, he bogged his body, he bogged the body. And, and, and y'all remember them thing now? Well, I remember that. That's the one time I remember they said, Kiran crossed the line. Because when he took out these photographs, it was on a professional base. He then used it as mud water. You understand? That there. People are like, oh, cyber crime and what, 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 what joke. Yes. That there is an illegal act. You understand? Because that is defamation of character. Remember those girls were models. Those girls are They're depending on their character. You ever see what models do? It's how they're looking so. So again. Again. It's not why I would bring up. It's a matter of fact. It is a matter of fact. And I didn't pray for you get caught. Because if I didn't pray for you get caught. I want to tell Leroy. Leroy now knowing that I know. is Now people know the story. What critics said in that clip. Is that I took photographs. Of Miss World contestants. In my professional capacity as a photographer. And posted them. On mud water. Saying that I buggered these girls. In other words. He was accusing me of sexual misconduct immediately after seeing this i got on my phone with my attorney and i proceeded to the court my photography business came to a grinding halt because of those words the worst part of it all is that none of the words were true but because of this self-proclaimed realist thing out of Guyana, everyone ran with it, including the media, the police, everyone. During the filing of the lawsuit, we determined that the video which was referenced in the episode of Mudwater, in which they were making a satirical skit with famous Guyanese women um, whose photographs were featured these, these women's photographs were featured in newspapers and other online media outlets. None of those photos were taken by me. In fact, some of these women assisted me in my attempt to clear my name in the court. One of these such women is Tamika Marshall, who gave testimony that I did not take any photographs with her. Here is what she said in her deposition. Miss Marshall made it clear that she was never a part of Miss World pageant and that I never took any photographs with her, nor has she ever posed for any photographs to be taken by me. According to Critic, these women were defamed by me. Why would Tamika Marshall 
say it's a lie. Additionally, did Mr. Critic provide any evidence that supported his claims? I submit to you, the public, that to this date, Guyanese Critic, who is the knower of everything, has not submitted one single shred of proof to his claims besides his big stink mouth. Let's take a moment to go back a bit deeper into the story. When the lawsuit was filed, Mr. Critic filed a counterclaim and doubled down on his assertion that I am Mudwater and that I ran Guyana Uncut. The judge dismissed both claims. My claim was dismissed on the grounds that I could not sufficiently prove that damage was done to my rep rep repetition by the words uttered by, by Mr. Critic. And Mr. Critic's claim was dismissed because he could not prove that I was Mudwater. This is why I didn't see the need to appeal. Firstly, because Guyanese Critic did not have $101 million to pay me for damages. He still doesn't. This was never about money for me. It was always about setting the record straight. Secondly, in the judgment, Just Justice Singh gave sound reasoning as to why he dismissed Mr. Critic's counterclaim. Listen to what Justice Singh had to say. The, the defendant counterclaims that the claimant, through his assumed character, Maud Water, published that he, the defendant, is a homosexual. The claimant has denied that he is Maud Water. Consequently, the court must first determine whether the defendant has established on a balance of probabilities that the claimant is Maud Water. The sole evidence advanced by the defendant in this regard is that he and the claimant had a conversation sometime in 2017 whereby the claimant stated that he wanted to create a cartoon character by the name of Modwater. This conversation never happened. The claimant denied the claimant denied knowing the defendant or having such a conversation with the defendant or in his presence. The defendant asserted that another person was present during this conversation. However, that person was not called as a witness. Now, this is something that baffled me. Um, I, was, I was perplexed by Mr. Critic's lack of... Pre presenting this star witness who witnessed this conversation with him and I when I told him that I was mud water. The stakes are so high, you're being sued for $101 million and you're not going to present the one person that knows the thing that you are saying that has you in court. Anyway, the defendant was the only witness in support of his case and he did not provide any evidence linking the claimant, which is me, to the YouTube channel, Guyana Uncut, where Mudwater, where the Mudwater character appears or broadcasts. Now, Mr. Critic went to court and he was given the opportunity by the High Court to provide proof of his claims that I am mud water and that I took photos with, with girls with the Miss World contestants and posted them on Guyana Uncut. He failed to do so. In the criminal matter against me at the Diamond Magistrate's Court, he is the only civilian witness. The only person in this world that is attempting to tie me to Guyana Uncut or Mudwater, on record, is Guyanese Critic. He is the chief witness in which the state is relying on 
to make a prima facie case against me, in which they've asked me to mount a defense to. I cannot discuss the criminal matter in detail here. This is as per instructions by my attorney. But I'm very concerned with the way this case is going. From the, from the inception, I've had a concern, and I'm going to wait to see what is going to happen in the end. I'm not going to voice my concern here. But what I can tell you is that the words uttered by Guyanese critic have put my life in danger and has made me a target. Just last year, my house was violently shot up by a gunman. Had it not been for the words uttered by Guyanese critic, I would still be enjoying my ordinary life as a photographer. Every time my wife hears the sound of a motorcycle, she becomes alert and scared, wondering if this will be a repeat episode of that horrific experience she had when a gunman came and shot up this entire place. I place all the blame of what my family is going through at the feet of Guyanese critic. Because of the words he uttered, on January 29th, 2022, and continues to double down on, and cannot prove to this day that what he said was true. Many people are saying to me, let them talk what they want, it's just words. It's not just words, people. The other day, I had to go down into the gutter to deal with an individual who was dragging my family and my children into this matter. It's not just words. It's words that is a it, it's words that are affecting my ability to feed my family and it's affecting my freedom, my freedom of movement, my freedom of peace, my right to peace. I see Leroy Smith is posting a whole bunch of stuff about me and my family. His photographer took a photograph with my boss and he shared it with Otis Pearson and they're running a slander campaign against me. Leroy Smith, who is the chief complainant, the, the virtual complainant in the matter, the criminal matter against me, is out there cyberbullying me. In the same fashion that he's complaining against me, he is cyberbullying me. And when I make complaints to the station, no case is going forward for Leroy Smith. No case is being made to the court for Leroy Smith. But yet, Leroy Smith could have me before the court for something that Mudwater did. And I think what Mudwater did was called him an auntie man. So Mudwater called him an auntie man. And I must, pay, I must pay for that. I don't think that's fair. We're in the court. And I think Leroy, Leroy Smith should wait until the process of the court is complete. Before he makes these type of statements and these type of moves. I cannot continue to stay silent, and I will not. And I have no apologies to the people who feel as if I should not have gone on to that live and state my position and defend the honor of my wife and my family. If you feel that I should not have done that, then that, that's your opinion. You're entitled to that opinion. But this is my life. I am living it. And I am the one who has to represent my household. And nobody is going to mess around my children and get off with it. Nobody. I have a lot more to say, but I will stop here for now. I thank you for the opportunity to tell my side of the story. And there will, there will be more. There is a whole lot more to this that I cannot discuss now. But you will know soon. I promise you. 
please share my message. Thank you.